When you bring out value, people like it. IBM shares are soaring and plans to spin off its infrastructure unit and focus on the fast-growing cloud business. Joining us now, first on CNBC, IBM CEO Arvind Krishna and Executive Chair Ginny Rometty. Great to see both of you on Walk on the Street. Thank you for coming on. A pleasure to be here, Jim. All yes. right. And, and even, Jim, before we get started, safety first. We both had multiple tests to be sitting together. <laughs> All right. You know that when someone in the control room said they're next to each other, I said, do they have masks? I'm glad you brought that up. We can now go forward. And thank you for doing that. We don't want people to think like that. Ginny. Uh, you come back for this one, and it's very special. So I want to give you the floor because you uh, were with Arvin, bought Red Hat to put this in motion. How do you feel about breaking uh, something up that basically was yours into two companies? Oh, well, well, first off, I feel very good about today because what it really is is it's a bookend to me of a multi-year journey that we've been on together. And as you know, we spent a number of years building the foundation for the hybrid cloud. Jim, you and David and others have been with me along this way. And then two years ago was Red Hat. And the important notion is that what happened with Red Hat, we really got confidence because we saw great adoption and it accelerated. So IBM as the hybrid cloud company, the AI company, is really, really there. And so with that confidence, that gives me this great really great confidence now. And so, so it's two things. It's one, it's the acceleration of Red Hat and the acceptance of our open hybrid cloud platform. And then at the same time, what has happened, we've been watching carefully, we can see how some buying patterns are changing with our clients. And so they buy application modernization, digital transformation on one side, and separately infrastructure services. And if you think about it, the two companies, IBM is a digital transformation company, application modernization. And you think about this, the new company, Nuco, to have a name at a later date, is a $19 billion great company on infrastructure modernization. So I think this is a wonderful bookend to this journey, and it's a great, really, beginning for the company to now become a growth company. So, Arvin, I know that you were the architect of the, Red, of the Red Hat deal. I wanted to get a sense of the dividend, because I want a high-growth company, and I want a company that throws off cash. You talk about the idea in the spin that the dividends can be remain, remain the same, but why shouldn't you just put uh, pure growth on the, on the new comp on the old company that is now the new company and, and put the manufactured infrastructure, just give that all the dividend, put the, give, give the cash flow to the growth company, give a big dividend to the slower company. Isn't that what we really want? <laughs> Look, Jim, uh, the dividend has to be appropriate based on the EBITDAs of the companies. Uh, we have committed that both are going to have investment-grade balance sheets, and both are going to attract investors with an appropriate dividend policy. As, uh, as um, our CFO, Jim Kavanaugh, stated on the investor call, um, we are committed to have a combined dividend no less than the pre-spin dividend. And at IBM, we are committed to a sustainable and growing dividend policy over time, which has been consistent with our background. But to your point of growth, if I could, we have looked at this, and it's a trillion-dollar total addressable market for IBM going forward. We are maniacally focused on hybrid cloud and AI. We believe that we can deliver strong growth with the company, with the financial flexibility that we will create through this transaction for the company to be able to grow. And that's what I'm committed to. I'm committed to uh, sustainable growth and accelerating growth over time on those uh, opportunities. By the way, we have seen it on Red Hat over the past uh, year and a half. We took them from low teens of growth to the high teens of growth. We tripled the customer base on the hybrid cloud platform from around 800 to over 2,400. We are doubling the number of large deals. So I feel mm -hmm. pretty good about the base we have built and then our ability to double down on investments, both organic and inorganic going forward. Okay, but Arvind, what is the path to sustainable mid-single-digit revenue growth for Remainco? I don't know how you get there. <laughs> so, Jim, I think you'll agree that Red Hat is growing. If I look at the past uh, year and a quarter we have had them, we've been growing at close to 20%. So if you imagine a business of that size growing 20%, that goes and contributes some couple of percent to the overall growth of the company. Two, our software business, where we're going to increase both organic R&D investment as well as acquisitions, will contribute the next layer of growth. Three, when I use the word ecosystem, 
We are going to grow businesses that are going to be measured in the hundreds of millions, maybe the low billions, with a few big partners. You heard us announce new partnerships with Adobe. You heard us announce increased partnerships with uh, Salesforce, including some of the other uh, big cloud players, etc. As we extend those number, as well as get others onto our financial services cloud, etc., that ecosystem will drive a third layer of growth. And fourth, as our uh, global business services team spends added uh, money to both grow their skills as well as make acquisitions to get into these new areas and together with these other partnerships, that will allow them to grow. So those are the four uh, elements of growth that then contribute to that um, overall growth going forward. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.